dachy. Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading out on another shore dive uh, in search for some, some lobsters and maybe a bass if there's one around. Minus 1.5 degrees this morning uh, and I came in a couple of days ago in the water and the water is at roughly nine degrees so hopefully we can get a lobster. Um, yeah, we'll see what's around. I've got all my kit with me. Uh, gun, cooking stuff and all my diving stuff in the back. And hopefully if we get a lobster, we'll cook it up on the beach. <laughs> Being quite early on in the season, I didn't really expect many fish around, but with the improved visibility, I thought it was a good idea to take the gun out anyway and see what was around. The visibility was a lot better than previous weeks, still very milky and roughly between two or three meters. After about 20 minutes and roughly about five or six dives of looking for fish, I didn't see any in the area. So I decided to look for some lobsters and started with some boulders and cracks and it wasn't long until I came across my first lobster. At first glance this hole looks pretty easy to get the lobster out but unfortunately it was like an L shape so it meant the lobster could get tucked in around the corner and I wasn't able to access it. So I tried with the spear off my spear gun uh, so I had a bit more reach and a bit more length into the hole but still couldn't get it out. And as I've mentioned previously, if I don't get them out uh, within the first three or four goes, I tend to leave them alone and move on to a different lobster. A couple of dives later, I came across this lobster in a very easy hole. Uh, unfortunately, I, it wasn't big enough, so I did leave it alone. I didn't even bother trying to get it out. Uh, and then straight after this, as I turned around and I was coming back up to the surface, sat on a ledge was a small brown crab, which I picked up just to show you guys, uh, but I then released it afterwards. Being in the area, I had to pay a visit to the old lobster which I released. This time I decided to take the lobster something to eat. I managed to find myself a little cuckoo ras or a small ballon ras uh, and very clearly quite hungry uh, and quite slow on getting the fish but managed to get hold of it uh, and had, it, had himself a nice feed. But if this is something you'd like to see more in the channel, um, I'm thinking of you know visiting the lobster on a more frequent basis and feeding it different stuff. Uh, potentially some conga steaks uh, from that 37 pound conga which I've still got in the freezer. After a bit more effort searching around, I eventually came across another lobster. This one was big enough and it was a lot easier to get to. So I got the hook in behind the lobster and slowly eased it out, but unfortunately it kicked up quite a lot of sand and silt within the hole. For a few seconds, I thought the lobster disappeared, but then I suddenly saw it to the right and just as it was leaving its hole, I managed to get my hand on top of it and grab hold. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Once I got back up to the surface and I was showing Fred the lobster that I just pulled out, it actually managed to kick and escape my hands and pretty much swim all the way back down to the, the bottom. But unfortunately it was too slow for me and I managed to grab it again. I'm always amazed to see how these lobsters swim, they're so streamlined and surprisingly fast for something that is actually quite slow when walking around. Keeping the cooking nice and simple, I cut the lobster into half, removed the intestinal tract, added some butter to a pan and fried it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Right now for the part that everyone's been waiting for. Uh, I know it's been just over two weeks and I am sorry for that, but unfortunately I had a knee operation and I'm currently, as you can see here, sat on the sofa in quite a lot of pain waiting for this to go down. So what I'm gonna do, I've entered all of the names into a uh, like a pie chart, a spinning wheel, and uh, we'll get onto the laptop and then spin the wheel and whatever name it lands on will be the winner of the £100 gift voucher from Spearfishing UK. I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. I have entered every single person's name on the list uh, that left a comment on the video. What will happen is I will click on the screen, it's gonna spin the wheel, and whoever's name it lands on uh, will be the winner of the £100 gift voucher. So here we go. James G. There we have it, congratulations mate. You've won the 100 pound gift voucher. So if you get in touch with me on Instagram or um, through Facebook or how, however you want uh, and we can arrange the 100 pound gift voucher for you. Well done. Also, thank you very much for everybody else who took part. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't win this time, but you know, we're at nearly 15,000 subscribers now, so maybe when we get to 20,000 subscribers, we'll do another giveaway and hopefully there can be someone else who wins. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all soon once my knee is recovered. But for now, it's going to be video editing and knee recovery for me. But I'll see you all soon. Cheers.